Here's a set of early 1900s ebony lorries. And I inherited this set. Um, don't know the exact date, you know, it's, it can be hard to tell with some of these older sets of pipes. If you have a set of pipes that has silver on them, uh, you can often date the silver by the hallmarks, but this is uh, no silver. It's a beautiful set, and you can tell from the dark, dark black color, a little bit darker than the wood that you'll see on most sets of pipes, which are African black wood. So that's why we think this set is ebony. Um, and ebony is uh, highly prized because of its dark color and also because of the, um, the rareness. There aren't that many sets that were made from ebony. Um, now, this is not ivory. This is actually a really, really old um, imitation ivory. And if you look closely, I don't know if you can tell here, but can see some of the lines the lines run parallel and you can tell when the lines run parallel that it's celluloid and that was one of the early early imitation ivories um, if you look at a piece of real ivory you'll see the Schrager lines which are the sort of the, the crisscross pattern from um, the ivory the um, lines in celluloid are parallel. You can look up some pictures of that online. Um, really beautiful. I mean, it's as nice as any imitation ivory that you'll see. They stopped using it because from what I've read, it had a tendency to um, catch on fire when they were machining it, when it got up to higher temperatures from the spinning on the lathe. Um, catch on fire so we don't see pipes made out of celluloid anymore so nice looking pipes here's the ring caps really nice dark color um, now the blowpipe take that apart here The blowpipe mount actually looks like it might be real ivory. Now, I'm not going to say that it is, um, but it could be. Um, now, you might see there's, looks like there might be some little cracks in the blowpipe stock. And it looks like there's one, a little one here in the, the, the chanter stock. But as far as the drones themselves, absolutely no cracks. The drones are in perfect condition. Um, no cracks. So if you wanted to get these pipes up to playing condition, I might, would recommend probably doing, um, you know, maybe just some preventative work on, on the chanter and blowpipe stock just to make sure that those cracks don't grow anymore. Um, you can see from the wear here on the combing, this is a really nice feature of these, you know, whenever you're talking about pipes that are, you know, over 100, and, 100 years old anyway, 110 years old, you're going to see a lot of wear here, which is a really, a really cool, really cool feature because it's been rubbing on the shoulder of the player. So you do see some wear in the lower sections. Um, upper sections, tenors look really nice. This middle section of the base is not original from as best as I can tell. The combing looks slightly different. Um, there's just this little dip, there's this little line here which is a giveaway. Also I think this piece might be African blackwood because it looks a little bit lighter than the rest of them. Um, so that's the one thing that you should know. But other than that everything looks 100% original and uh, in really nice condition. You can see the ends of the stocks have this little sort of rounded out feature, which is kind of nice. And you do get some wear, which you would expect. So you have back here on this is the, uh, the Channer stock. It's been gouged out. I wonder if that was done just to help with the tie-in, perhaps. What a cool 
cool little bit of character there. I mean, it's hard to know the story on these pipes. Um, I know very little about them except for what I've been able to research through, you know, looking at the pipes themselves, but I don't know anything about the story of, of the pipes, if they were, who they were played by, or, you know, if they were played in a battle or anything like that. So leave that up to the imagination, but the, uh, they're fantastic pipes, and I'll try to get a recording up of me playing them, but they do have that classic lorry sound, which is a really full, uh, warm bass drone, and then really, really strong and bright tenors. Um, so there they are, a set of early 1900s imitation ivory ebony lorries. And they could be yours.